Nation Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans, where country music started. A bit of trivia for you, Grim. Nashville has the lowest number of teeth per person. Whatever. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Nashville Lycans. Win the orc toss and can choose to kick off, kick off. They want to kick them in the nuts right out of the gate. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. First and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and ten. And he just used his beast foot dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Not unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at him. Boom, dead and down. Was you can't kill the messenger because he's gonna kill you but then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him ah yeah. uh, going in circles unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh well maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here nice catch and he turns on the afterburners pump returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns oh that's a vicious hit and the crowd loves it he just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat and you can't hit a guy much harder than that and that is unfortunate And it's first and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. Second down and six. He's working. That guy's so fast, he can't. He's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. <laughs> Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy. The bricks can't even get one. Uh, and he finds his target for two! See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> They need a good return here to set up the offense. Perfect kick. Great way to kick off the carnage. Huh? Huh? 
and four on that play. Second down and six. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Ooh, nice pick up for six yards. Second down and four. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Wide range brings out the worst in any blue potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. First and two. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And here comes the extra point attempt. And then, my friends, is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for him. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Yeah, man. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. <laughs> The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. Interception, and that's how you stop an offense. points so they're going for two no one was gonna stop him that's two points <laughs> when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay 
Punkte. First and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, and anything really tastes good. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, no, no, it's a sticky ball and dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock-blocked the clock. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of... Force meets the explodable object. <laughs> and like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. Do that again, Bricks. I'll shoot you in the head. Well, people like it. <laughs> well, why go for one when you could go for two? Can't even get one. The QB threads the needle for two points. And that big fella looks and dances just like my mother in law. Uh, Wait, it is your mother in law, if I'm not mistaken. You know what? You're right. I got They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. <laughs> First and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Man, not a ball's feet. With a devastating loss at home, the Lycans are licking their wounds.
Looks like the werewolves are looking more than their wounds, Grim. Oh, that's gross. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, Let's really? go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.